I am back into color. Yes, listen, I am allowed to change my mind. Women are renowned for it. It has been a while, my sweet friends. I cannot remember the last time I saw you guys. I'm back again, my friends, with another thrift video. This time, a very cute and gorgeous try on thrift haul. Now, I'm sure you've had your fill of me after seven uploads back to back. But after today's video, my weekly schedule will go back to normal, uploads every Friday, and I'm gonna take a little break off the thrifting content because there are other subjects I wish to discuss with you, my friends. I am in the process of researching a video on 2024 trends. Now, you know that I am not one who follows trends, but there is something quite unusual about this New Year's trends, and I simply must make a video about it. I'm also in the process of researching my episode two of Life in Looks and of course, episode three of How to Be Your Own Stylist. So my friends, that is what you have to look forward to in the coming weeks. That's if I don't get sidetracked by Thrift With Me's because I cannot stay away from the op shops, my friends. But without further ado, let us jump straight into this Try On Thrift haul with the first piece a pair of pink Bermuda shorts, my friends. These are simply adorable. And yes, as you may well have gathered, my friends, I am back into color. Yes, listen, I am allowed to change my mind. Women are renowned for it. And yeah, I reserve the right to change my mind. And I am into color. And I did not own a pair of pink Bermuda shorts. I love them so much. I'm wearing a pair right now, white. And I thought these pink ones were so cute. Now I got this for two bucks, but if you had seen the state of it, it was shocking. There was pilling all over it. There were stains. I got the pilling out with my little Go Lint remover, the most amazing tool to enter my life. And I also soaked it in nappy sand and got most of the stains out. What is left, I don't think is noticeable. So yes, my love affair with Bermuda shorts will never end, I don't think. I think they are so chic and a little offbeat and old school, and I just love everything about them. These ones are by Miller's. They're a size 12. They're a polyester viscose blend. And I am so happy to have a pink pair to add to my Bermuda shorts collection. So I found this broidery anglaise little top for $1, I think. This is beautiful. I love this for so many reasons. One, it's ultra feminine. Two, it's summery and fresh. Three, it has a collar and is kind of form fitting and so different from any other embroidery anglaise pieces I've had in the past. I got rid of all of my embroidery anglaise tops. And so, yeah, when I saw this one, I thought this is different and this is something I simply must style up. This one is by P&S Michael. P&S Michael, my friends, is a designer boutique that has been around for many decades. My own mother used to shop at P&S Michael for all her wedding, christening, fancy, occasion things. So yeah, this would have been expensive in its day, I know. So I love this because I can wear it in a deep V or I can do the zip right up and wear it with a high neck collar. This sleeve, it is a three quarter sleeve, but when I styled it up and shot it for Instagram, I folded the little cuff over and kind of ruched it up and it just made the perfect half sleeve. And I was just so happy with the way this piece turned out in the photos. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think this is a piece that will stick around in my wardrobe for a long time. Well, at least until I find another broidery on glaze top that I fall in love with and then I can retire this one. But what a great find. Red, 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 my friends. It's all about a pop of red in 2024, isn't it? Now, I will discuss it at length in the 2024 trends video, but I love this piece. First of all, it's vintage. Second of all, it's a short sleeve shirt, which I love. And thirdly, the print is gorgeous with that pop of red. And this is another piece where I just fell in love with the way it looked in the photos. I love the way I styled it up.
I cannot even make out what the label is because the tag has all but faded and is almost disintegrated as well. But what a beautiful shirt. It does have a resort collar, which isn't my favorite, but I wore this as an overshirt and I just love the way it turned out when I shot it for Instagram. I think it's such a beautiful piece and this pop of red against this black backdrop is so different. I just, I just love it so much. I have not tried to style it buttoned up yet and hopefully the resort collar will be deep enough so that I wear it that way as well. But I just thought it was an amazing find. I just thought it was a beautiful way to add color to my wardrobe. I have been on the hunt for a navy sweatshirt or hoodie for the longest time. I've looked in H&M, they're just not exactly what I'm looking for. I have a black one already and I just wear it to death in winter. So when I saw this one, I knew I was just gonna wear the hell out of it this coming autumn and winter. Now what I love about this piece is that it's shrunken. I barely fit my head through this hole, but I love that. I really love a very enclosed crew neck. Okay, so that's one thing I love about it. And the shrunken feel is so different to my black hoodie, which is more oversized, because I can wear voluminous track pants or shorts or jeans and tuck it in and ruche the sleeve right up. And it's gonna look so cute. I love the white graphic on the front, which says NYU. And would you believe my friends, this is from Champion. I did not expect that. And another thing I didn't expect was that it's an extra large. So I am assuming that this was maybe a young girl's or young boy's piece. It's fleece lined. I just thought this was such a cool piece that I can incorporate into my winter outfits when I want a more sporty, casual look. I can even dress this up and wear a blazer over top with some jeans and loafers and that would look cute too. But yeah, I thought that was a great little find. Okay, I have some more navy. This is a quarter button collared shirt that I found in the size 14 women's. Now this is vintage by Pilbara Collection, made in Australia. It may look like denim, but it's not. It's a durable 100% cotton, which I love. Love the sleeve on this, it's nice and wide and long. I do love these contrast buttons, which have Pilbara on them as well. And of course, this twin chest pocket detail at the front. I love these pockets. It's just so vintage looking and old school and such a beautiful detail on a shirt. I'm really into that. A quarter button detail shirt is so easy to tuck in. It looks kind of masculine, but it's just that point of difference that it's not really a shirt, you know? It's not a it's not a button through shirt. But I thought this piece was so amazing and yeah, I am looking forward to styling this up come cold weather. Another shirt in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous crimson color. It's vintage again, and the details on this are stunning. So this one is by Adam Bennett, and I remember my mum used to shop this label when I was a teenager. So yeah, I get nostalgic whenever I come across it, but it's a beautiful, soft, cotton, gauzy type of fabric, and there's this, it's not really a pocket, it's just seam work. So you've got this kind of flap and then this seam over here. It's kind of Western, but not really. This wide sleeve is gorgeous and I love the way the cuff cinches around the wrist real small. I love that detail. So yes, this was another piece that I just couldn't resist. As a matter of fact, this haul, my friends, is very shirt heavy. The reason being, shirts, are my go-to piece. If you've been with me a long time, you know that A, there's never a thrift haul without a shirt. B, when I don't know what to wear, I throw on a shirt, a pair of jeans, or denim cutoffs, and loafers or high tops, and I'm done. Shirts are what I wear most when I'm off duty, when I'm not filming, on the weekends, when I'm catching up with friends. This is what I feel most comfortable in. If you ask me what is the item that I have the most of in my wardrobe, it's shirts. I have quite the collection, men and women's, and I just love and I can never get enough or ever get 
bored of them. So this crimson one I thought was an absolute treasure find. Okay, this next shirt is, well, the color's beautiful, isn't it? This cornflower blue, I love it. Now this one's by Country Road. It's a size large, but it doesn't fit like a large. It fits like a small, which leads me to believe that this may in fact be very old Country Road, even vintage maybe. But it does have a Western vibe with this embroidered detail on the chest. Again, this one also has twin chest pockets, which I love. The buttons are white, which contrast nicely. This one was a more fitted kind of shirt, so not too wide in the sleeve or too much body, but I really liked the way it looked on. And again, just more color in my wardrobe. Beautiful quality, beautiful color, love. Never do I ever, my friends, pass on the men's section because that is where I find all of my men's cotton shirts. I would much rather wear a men's cotton shirt over a woman's because of the classic cuts, the classic prints, colors. There's no tapering, there's no seam work, there's no florals. It's just gorgeousness after gorgeousness after gorgeousness. And there's something about a woman in a men's shirt. It's just, you could wear a men's shirt with denim shorts and loafers or jeans and loafers and the whole look is unexpected because you're wearing a men's shirt it's a masculine look on a woman and the loafers are masculine as well and it just is unexpected even though it's so simple because you're seeing a girl in jeans a men's shirt and loafers and there's not much to the outfit it's three pieces but it just looks so good and that is why i did not pass up on these i don't want to carry on too much about these. I'm gonna tell you the details of them and move on. They're all vintage, by the way. So this one is by Morrison's Australia. It's a size medium. It's a gorgeous color. It's more of a tan beige than a gray beige. Twin chest pockets again, and just, just beautifully made. I just love the way this looks on. I also love this striped one. This is lighter fabric with only one single chest pocket. Just a gorgeous wide sleeve. Love the collar. This one is by David Jones. Yes, very old David Jones, my friends. And it's a polyester cotton blend, which most men's shirts are. You'll get that poly cotton blend and I don't mind that at all especially when they're as beautifully made as these ones and lastly I have this one which is in a warmer tan so gorgeous this color against my skin I thought looked great another single chest pocket there's so many ways to wear a shirt tuck it in leave it out wear it as an overshirt Rush up the sleeves, make it into a half sleeve, leave them long and let the cuffs come down to your hands. It's just, oh, there's, there's so many ways. Button it up right to the neck, have a deep V. The possibilities are endless with shirts. I don't know why, I just feel so damn good in them. I do. And this, my friends, is by Rail Brook British Heritage, size medium. And you know the craziest thing of all, my friends, is that these three amazing men's shirts, top quality, were only a dollar each. My little local op shop was clearing out everything before the Christmas break and I got them each for a dollar. Okay, so you know my love affair with stripes will never ever end, but this one is a green stripe. More color, my friends. It feels so beautiful on the skin. It's a perfect oversized fit. This ribbed, hem may not look so modern but it's great for tucking in because it kind of clings to your hips and it just makes everything look seamless no bumps no kind of wrinkling it's just the best and i love this very high neckline this feels so beautiful on the skin you guys it really does so classic so timeless so this one is by melissa mccarthy by the seven label and it's a cotton viscose polyester blend okay so i found this vintage shirt dress it's in a size 14 and it is a true size 14 because i did try to style this up for you guys but it was just way too big on me it just didn't work i tried my best but it did not work on me so you're just gonna have to use your own imagination and visualize this on a tall 
kind of curvy woman. Now, I think this is an amazing piece. It's just so well made. This belt came with, okay, so we have a zip pocket on one side and on the other side is this flap, which kind of, you know, mimics a pocket, but it's not a functional pocket. Deep pockets and the belt that came with. I just thought it was an amazing find. I did not expect this piece to be so ill-fitting on me, my friends. I thought I'll, I, I could have made it work, but this one is definitely going for sale on my Depop and eBay, and hopefully a size 14 girl, maybe one of you out there will love it because I happen to think it is an amazing vintage piece. So this one is by Inwear. It's 100% cotton and made in Australia. Now for another dress that did indeed fit me, my friends. This is my favorite piece out of this whole haul. I think it's gorgeous. So, 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 so gorgeous, my friends. This print is gorgeous. The red is gorgeous. I love the whole colorway, actually. The red, white, and black is simply stunning. The silhouette is gorgeous. Love the cowl neck, also gorgeous. This is vintage by Jonathan Summers of Sydney, size 12. But it fit me like a glove, my friends. I tried to style it up with a belt, but none of my belts worked. So I do need to find a belt to wear with this. It does have belt loops. It could have come with a little tie, but it wasn't attached to the dress. And although this is vintage, the way I shot it for Instagram, it looks so modern as well. I was so happy with the photos of this dress. I just love, love this piece. It's absolutely stunning. The skirt is pleated. Not sure if you can tell, but it is pleated. It's just amazing vintage. Amazing vintage. I found this dress as well, you guys. This lace number with the nude underlay and this very pretty sleeve. I just couldn't resist it. I don't have anywhere to wear this dress. It did fit me well, I thought. It's by Fate and Becca. It's an Australian size 10. And I don't know, there's just something about this dress that I found quite elegant and demure, a little bit sexy because of the silhouette. It kind of skims the body. I wore it with my Zara nude heels to tie in with this nude underlay and I just thought it was beautiful. It's a beautiful dress, this high neckline, gorgeous. The closure is a little button in the back there, little keyhole. The sleeve is gorgeous. It doesn't have the nude underlay, a very slight bell sleeve. Just a beautiful, beautiful, simple, but elegant dress, I thought. What a great find. This little jacket is the only outerwear piece of this haul. It's vintage. It's by the label Point Three, made in Australia. It's a size 10. Look, I'm not sure I love the silhouette on this. I tried to make it work. It's got those feminine details, the tapering, that I don't like. If it was more boxy, I think it would have been so much nicer, but still I could not let it go. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between the polka dot and the buttons because the buttons are quite similar, but look at that twin button cuff detail. So gorgeous. And here on the side, there is a pocket, but it also has this little tab with the button. What a beautiful detail, that is just so different. So it's a twin button closure, a beautiful collar, lined, gorgeous quality. I mean, I died when I saw it. I really did, I got so excited because I don't have a polka dot jacket, but I was kind of let down in the fit of it. But I don't know, maybe I can make it work. I'll play around with it and see if I can give it a more modern edge, but yeah, what, what a great find though, right? What a great, find. Okay, so this is my one and only accessory, my friends, this gorgeous scarf. I had to take it because of the red in it. You know, it's another pop of red that I can tie into an outfit with a red bag and a red shoe. I'm really into that at the moment, you guys. And this is not wool. It's 100% acrylic. It says wool touch by Conquista, made in Korea. I just loved the colors and the little bit of fringing on the sides. You can never go wrong with a plaid scarf, my friends. So I have two pairs of shoes to show you. These are the first 
These high tops, my friends, are by Birkenstock. Do you believe that? Now, they're pretty beat up, but I don't mind that at all. And at first, when I saw them, I thought, mm, I don't know if I'm into these. I don't know if I'm into this very rounded toe. I don't know if I'm into this high top that has the cutouts. I'm not sure it's me. But when I tried them on you guys, I thought, I love them. I love the fact that you can see your skin through the high tops. This shoe is perfection for traveling because it's like a summery high top. Imagine these with a pair of denim cut off shorts, your bikini, an overshirt, and these. What a cool look, right? What an amazing find, seriously. I could not believe my luck, they're just, Excellent quality Birkenstock. I mean, they're so expensive. I didn't even know that Birkenstock did trainers. And they are a size 39, a little on the big side for me, but they still work. And they are leather as well. I just thought they were so different, you guys. So different. And the last pair, my friends, are these little brogues. What are they? Brogues, loafers. I just I think they're absolutely adorable with this plaid paneled front. The laces, the point, they're like a men's shoe, but not really. They are leather with this wooden little heel. They're designed in Melbourne by this brand called Aired. I thought they were amazing. I got these for five bucks, you guys. And it's funny because my white loafers are on their way out. They are dying. I should have got them repaired, but they're too far gone now to get them repaired. And I have tried to replace them, but I can't, I just cannot find another pair exactly the same. And I love white loafers. So this is the next best thing, my friends. I am gonna wear these. I think they're so cool, so quirky, so offbeat, so unexpected. This plaid on the front is gonna go with so many bottoms. You've got blue, black, camel, white. How adorable are they? Now, there is a little bit of scuffing on the toe, but I don't mind that at all. I just got really excited when I found these, I really did. I think they're so cool. And that, my friends, is it. 18 pieces in this try on thrift haul. I think they're amazing pieces. I personally love each and every one of them. I must say that the white shoes and this dress and this shirt, and these trouser pants. I am so excited to style up and shoot for my Instagram. So that is a wrap on this video, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out as usual. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.